It was August 24th, 1814. The United States was in the midst of war with Great Britain, and enemy troops had their eyes on the young nation's capital. Word of their impending arrival reached Washington, and most of the city's population fled, leaving the area vulnerable. Those who remained were witness to a horrifying spectacle. The British troops set fire to nearly every public building in the city, including the United States Capitol, which was still being constructed. It consisted of north and south wings connected by a wooden walkway. At the time, the Capitol housed the House and Senate, as well as the Library of Congress and the Supreme Court. The British created several large bonfires by slathering piles of furniture and books with gunpowder paste and torched major rooms in both wings. The intense heat melted glass skylights, destroyed carved stone, damaged columns, endangered portions of the exterior stone wall, and forced the enemy troops to retreat. Upon seeing the flames of the capital from his temporary residence at the Octagon House, the French minister remarked, I have never beheld a spectacle more terrible, and at the same time, more magnificent. Thankfully, the capital's architect, Benjamin Henry Latrobe, had used fireproof building materials, including sheet iron, marble, sandstone, zinc and copper, and fire preventative design, such as masonry vaulting. As a result, the exterior structure survived and many of the interior spaces remained intact. Today, visitors can still see the sandstone areas of the building that survived the fire in the small house rotunda and on the first floor of the Senate wing, where Latrobe's corn cob columns still stand. Visitors can also spot the original door of the vestibule, which the British used to flee the burning building.